okay students i hope you all have uh, written uh, these two letters so i will be discussing you with you that uh, what is the thing you need not to miss to write in the letter so first topic is your friend has been sick and has been unable to attend school for two weeks okay an inter school drama competition took place during this period write a letter to your friend telling him or her about the event and your role in it okay so there is a letter you are asked to write a letter to your friend who has been sick and has been unable to attend the school now maximum students have the tendency to start the letter with the very word uh, my dear uh, akash or anil or whatever how are you as the friend has been sick now let me remind you the as a letter cannot start with a question sentence so how are you will not work here okay but you need to write something related to the topic now what is the topic that an inter school drama competition took place during this period and you need to your uh, inform your friend telling him or her about the event and your role in it now you can serve both the purpose in a simple sentence okay that somehow you will be explaining your friend you will you will uh, make him or her feel that you are cautious about his uh, sickness as well as you don't want him to miss all this uh, remarkable things so you can start your uh, letter with a sentence that will deal with that i somehow you want to like this that you want to uh, make him feel good in his uh, such condition by informing him something something that took place in your school okay means you can make his monotonous day a bit uh, something a bit different by informing him that the inter school drama competition took place during this period so this way you will form your introduction now in the body part write a letter to your friend telling him or her about the event and your role in it now the letter is having two three parts first is you need to inform your friend that something took place okay now what is that thing that you need to highlight next comes what is your role in that particular place so in the body part you will somehow inform that some that inter school drama competition took place and if about the event you need to make him or her understand that how many schools they took part and whatever they have presented over here as it is a it is a competition so there must be something fixed that it will be the one act play okay or uh, two act play like this or it can be the same play that will be explained in or uh, that can be staged performed in a uh, various ways okay so that you need to choose that how can i make my letter enriched one whether keeping the content same and the way the children or the students they presented in a different manner whether you are going to do that or you you are going to choose a particular writer whose what uh, any play can be uh, performed so this part you need to think but the fact you need to mention that is about the event okay means you will give one or two lines regarding that by explaining then you will come to your role where whether you were an anchor or you were a means someone who took part in the drama or what was your role or you were an observer that you observed and enjoyed you learned so you need to mention this so what you need to mention in the body part is that is first you need to inform your friend about that there was an uh, there was a competition that was a drama competition next about the competition means the requirement and then comes your role okay this way you are going to form your body now the conclusion 
conclusion will definitely linked with the the first sentence or the concluding line will be definitely linked with the topic so again here you need to leave a message for your friend leave a note for your friend that the way that uh, something that though he was not present he missed something but when you will come back you will share your uh, experience uh, more elaborately with him or you are going to uh, provide him a vivid description regarding that in your next letter or you are going to or you have noted down everything which you are going to share with him or something like that that will definitely be linked with the topic understood now next uh, i hope you all have uh, written the format properly so format i have not i'm not going to discuss here as i have already discussed it now let us come to the next letter that is you have recently read a book by a famous author write a letter to your cousin telling him or her about the book and its unique points which make it a must read so here you are asked to write a letter to your cousin so what will be your salutation my dear cousin akash okay or if you write my dear cousin that is also okay if you want to provide name that is also okay okay now let us come to you have recently read a book by a famous author write a letter to your cousin telling him or her about the book and its unique points which make it a must read again this letter is having three parts first you have recently read uh, read a famous uh, a book of a famous author so first you must uh, include name of a book along with the writer that is a must then comes that you need to inform the unique points means somehow you were encouraged you um, means it has given you inspiration motivation yes there must be set the certain reason so choose the book wisely so that you all can uh, provide this unique taste yes this unique points you need to focus that i was motivated i was inspired uh it encouraged me or or this particular book by reading this book i got the information that there is something hidden within me which i also can uh, show maybe i'm not uh, good at studies but i can do this work very well or that work very well so somehow this type of sentences this type of words that will somehow reveal that you were somehow moved by reading that particular book and the last part comes that you will be recommending your cousin to read the book that's why the unique points which make it a must read must read means you will definitely tell ask your cousin to read the book yes so here also you need to focus this three parts in the body part and obviously the starting introduction should be linked with the topic and conclusion should be linked with the topic now uh, the introduction you can uh, start your letter by just by informing that recently uh, i would like to inform that recently i have read this book or i was motivated you or you will be happy to know that i have come to my word condition out of my word condition by uh, reading this book which book uh, the book or provide the name uh, it uh, somehow took me out of my uh, means the status i was being or in my mental condition whatever means the introduction should be obviously linked with the topic but not with hope this letter finds you in the pink of your health so this will not work this will not work means it will this particular sentence will not provide you marks right what will you pro, uh, what uh, will provide you marks is the link or the connection with the topic a uh, conclusion also can be like uh, that i have explained everything so i want you to read the book or share your point views after completing the book like this so that the conclusion should have a link with the topic so i hope uh, you all have written the letter nicely and i am eagerly waiting when the school reopens and i will be de means uh, discovering the marvelous lines you all are writing back at your home so 
प्लीज डोंट डिसअपॉइंट मी बाय नॉट फॉलोइंग द इंस्ट्रक्शन आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू विल डेफिनेटली राइट दिस टू लेटर्स ओके सो टेक वेरी गुड केयर ऑफ योर सेल्फ एंड कीप ऑन डूइंग योर वर्क्स थैंक यू